Hey, good Thursday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Doug Hetty. I want to give you an update on the pattern. What is going on with the pattern? Of course, it's pretty much set. It sets up uh, always about the third week of September uh, into the beginning of October. That's when we see the magical switch all well for the next year. It kind of starts morphing in August into this time, then it's completely set within the pattern. Now, when I say pattern, that is how storm systems react. And then within that pattern, we have the recurring cycle. And then once you find that cycle length, that is when you can project forward. What's going to happen a month out, two months out, even three months out, and even get an idea a little bit farther out than that. So let me show you what's going to happen uh, over the next couple weeks. What I'm seeing at this point in time, uh, at least around here, it's been fairly boring at least over the past, uh, gosh, several days or so. And right now, whew, we have this big guy spinning right across the Great Lakes. So on the backside, right in here, right across Central Plains, all this cold air is just funneling south. And that's why we are so much colder now compared to what we had last week. But because it's east of us, we're not seeing much in the way of clouds, showers, any showers or thunderstorms. And if you look out toward the west, not much going on. That means we're not going to see much over the next several days. Let me go through time. We're going to go into Friday. It does work a little farther west. We may see a little clouds. That is really just about it. Watch the system. Saturday still just kind of spinning and then finally kicks out as we head into Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. Let's stop Tuesday into Wednesday. You can see this guy finally moves in. That's our next shot that we're going to see any showers or thunderstorms across the region. Let's go down to the surface and zoom in here so you can kind of see the temperatures. And we'll go into, let's say, Thursday night, Friday morning. You can see most of us upper 40s for overnight lows all the way across central southern plains. Kind of cool. We're going to be seeing highs on Friday Again, upper 60s to near 70 degrees. And really, I mean, a slow warming trend over the weekend. Let's see, let's stop Saturday afternoon, mid-70s. Sunday afternoon, let's see, right in here, near 80. So a slow warming trend as we head through the next several days. We can look at rain. We know we're not going to see anything, at least for the next several days. But with that next system that drives in, let me skip through. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's dry. And finally, here's Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, into Wednesday, we start to see chances for showers and thunderstorms. Until then, we get nothing. It stays pretty much high and dry. So that's our next system. Until then, we're just not going to see much. I'm going to switch to a little wider view here for you. We're looking at that storm system next week. This storm system, it's the same system. I'm going to flip back through here. Uh -huh. Same system that we had in about the second week of August. But even though the pattern is new, it's the same cycle because the cycle has already been set. So the system will react a little bit differently. When I say react differently, Maybe it dives in across Oregon here instead of Southern California. That's an example. Um, so the storm systems will just react a little bit differently. And we can go all the way out till, let's see, let's jump out to next Thursday. You can see that system rolls through. And then we'll even go into next week and another system starts to drop in. And then we got this guy right behind it, which will be our system for the following week. So almost two weeks out. So October starts to actually pick up and we start to get some action across the region. Past week or so, it's been fairly boring. Things will start to pick up and we're going to have some pretty big temperature swings over the next couple weeks. Of course, remember, right below this video blog, I do have my long range forecast. I'm going to have it out, um, i put it out through like mid-November. I think that's a pretty good distance at this point in time. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always email me or Facebook me or anything like that. 
have a great day. I uh, hope you enjoy your Thursday.